Blorp. Oh my lands. He's big. We're gonna catch some crabs. Woo! Crabs. Yay! Over yonder. Find one? Got one. Not very big though. If any, come on. Yes. You are big enough to be eaten. Got a good amount. Yeah. Wow, this is detailed. Yeah, it is. Skin color, texture, and integrity, morphology, and posture. If you go into Google Docs, there is a document there that's called Octopus Welfare 2017. What I'm going to do is go to each octopus and score them according to this rubric, yeah. one to four. We are going to use this fancy sheet that has lots of pages. To, to evaluate each octopus's health. So we're here back here at Admiralty going to dive to collect. We have three more octopuses that we need to collect before we're all done for the summer. So we are here on this beautiful day. We're going to jump in the water and hopefully we get a few things. We're running a little bit late because someone who is now hearing this for the, the third time was a little bit late to uh, pack up. Apparently they forgot that we were going diving today. No mentioning names. So this guy we had to put into my mask case because we had run out of red bottles for him. I heard you got four octopuses. Yep. How big is the biggest one we've gotten before this? 317, I believe. I love that custom Blorp. Oh my lands. He's big. That's pretty. Yeah. This is number 32. What's his weight? Do they ever ink when they're not in the water? Yeah, you yeah. baby one. Little baby. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, okay. Yeah. He's happy. How's this one look? Good. <laughs> He's raring to go. There we go. Mm -hmm. you good? Two eighteen. I don't know yet! Okay. What the? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Okay, okay. What are you guys doing right now? Uh, uh, we're preparing samples for stable isotope analysis. Blah, 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 science. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds like fun. What do you have in there? Uh, sadly, this is very sad, but these are baby octopuses. Aw. You see little metal things? I'm uh, rolling them into these little yeah. metal caps. We're gonna see what the babies are taking up from their environment. It has an end current that comes in and it just swishes the little babies around in a circle. And so if we don't have like a bubbler in there, they get caught up in bubbles. And keeps it keeps them, them keeps them going. Keeps them from banging, yeah. I guess the problem is, is it collects them on the bottom and then they all pile up like a bunch of zombies and die. So that's what the dilemma is right now. And how to keep babies how alive. We're try how we're going to keep them if we use bubblers or not. It's a problem. Your other ideas are? Well, right now Taylor has a tank, just a standing tank, um, that has a bubbler in it, and it has. She's kept them alive for quite a while. Since so you aren't using the chrysals, I'm trying to think about how we would do CO2 treatments here. We could try to sink them, like put them into a self-contained something, and sink them into a CO2 treatment tank. Yeah, that could be yeah. idea. Uh, we need to go to big pantries. What do you think of that? I'm just leaving them in tubes with the ends of pantyhose. Do that. 
and then I'll just put them in the treatment and they'll yeah, just float around have, in like, there. Yeah, tank of treatment, like but I all have those here. separate. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that'd work. Let's just do that.